Welcome to another video of Kitchen Adventures. We celebrate Children's Day on the 14th of November in India every year. This year, I've decided to gift plants to my kids. So, I've come to the nursery to pick up plants for them. I intend to make the kids realize the importance of plants in today's world which has been riddled by the climate change and its effects and to nurture in them the love for gardening so that they grow up to be climate conscious citizens. I've purchased these little plants and this gardener was kind enough to help me load them in the car. Plants are now at home ready and waiting. Preparing snacks for the party now. As the channel description suggests, we are trying to create new adventures in the kitchen. A kitchen is a great place to hold parties on occasions. These vanilla cupcakes are going in for baking. They are baked now. Delightfully golden in color. Now I'm preparing the buttercream frosting. All the recipes will be coming up soon. Now comes the piping. A swirl goes over the cake. I have added sprinkles to make them colorful for the kids. Rainbow vanilla cupcakes are now ready. As all children love pizza, I decided to add some in the menu but I've made it very little spicy so that it is easy on the children's palate. I do not like using store based dough as it's usually stale and when I can easily make uh, the base at home, why buy them? Lots of cheese for the children. With the cooking all over, I'm making a surprise box for the kids. I've taken an Amazon delivery box which was at home, you see. I've tried to make this a minimalistic event with as little waste generation as possible. I'm cutting out a circle for the children to reach their hands in for the chocolates. This size is just fine. I've covered the box in wrapping paper to make it attractive. Now find the hole and cut it through. Seal the loose ends to make it firm and neat. Box is now ready. You see, my hand is just passing through. These are some chocolates with which I'm going to fill in the box. UNICEF has chosen the theme Inclusivity for each child this year for the Children's Day all over the world. It is thus important that we recognize each child for their uniqueness and enable them to be the best version of themselves. Instead of trying to command uniformity, this should be the eventual goal of all parents and educators and all adults. Childhood is the best period of one's life and it should be allowed to remain so. This is going to be a Pandora's box in the real sense of the term. I'm also adding some decorative items, some paper petals and these colorful balls. This game looks so fun that I couldn't resist myself from trying my luck. Look what I got. So the Pandora's box is now ready. These are the chocolates inside it. Room decoration is also done. Coming to the table setting now. 
This is how it looked. I've covered the table with wrapping paper to make it attractive. This is the pizza which I had made earlier. Some drinks, mango drink and guava juice. Due to time constraint, I could not make all the items at home. These samosas are purchased. Rainbow vanilla cupcakes which we have made earlier. And some biscuits. Chocolate sandwich buns. And coleslaw sandwich. This recipe will be shared in the description box. Now the party begins. The first game is a word game. Each child has to choose a letter card which contains a letter. Then they have to discuss amongst themselves and come up with a word. These children have already formed a word. Let's see what they have made. This is T-A-C. Oh, they are standing in the wrong order. Okay, so this is C-A-T, cat. Well done. Very good. The next group is also ready with a word. Let's see what they have made. D-O-T, dot. These girls have made the word loaf, L-O-A-F. Good job. All the winners get to choose as much chocolates as they can. Okay, so the children are all trying their luck in the Pandora's box. That is me holding the box. The next game is a dice game. Each child has to choose a number between 1 to 6 and then throw the dice. If they get the chosen number, then they win and they get to choose chocolates. Each child got 3 chances. Unfortunately, not all were lucky. This little girl got lucky. And she got to choose as many chocolates as she could. <laughs> Having played to their heart's content, now it's time to eat. The children chose from the variety of food and had a lovely time. The pizza and cupcakes were a total sellout. Nowadays, I see children being engulfed in a mad run for excellence in academics and extracurricular activities. Parents seem to seek validation in their children's report cards. So why not we take some time off and spend some quality time with our children this year. The last game was passing the balloon and children had great fun. There was a lot of rules bending and breaking but everyone enjoyed. We also clicked a group photograph. The program ended with the distribution of potted plants. I asked them to water the plants regularly and take good care of them.
This is how we celebrated Children's Day this year. Wanted to share it with all of you. Please share and subscribe if you like the video.